to welcome you all to the ceremony for the Conferment of Awards from the University of the West of England and from Leeds Beckett University at the British College, Kathmandu, Nepal. My name is Camilla Cunningham. I will be your Master of Ceremonies for the, today's celebration, the official graduation ceremony of 2018. It is a very special occasion for our graduating students and for all the parents and the staff of the British College who have supported our students in their journey towards graduation. For the ceremony to be enjoyable for all, we request that graduates and guests please refrain from talking during proceedings. We request guests to refrain from coming forwards into the student seating area to take photographs, as there will be an official photograph as each graduate receives their award. We would like to inform you that today's ceremony is being broadcast on Facebook Live, so please share it with those who cannot be here today. Following this, please ensure that your phone is switched off or on silent. In the unlikely event, <laughs> in the unlikely event of an emergency, please take note of the nearest fire exits. Now, please be upstanding for the Nepali and British national anthems. Sayu thunga ful kahani yon kai mana ne pali sarva bhum vai phai di ekami si mahakali sayu thunga ful kahani yon kai mana ne pali sarva bhum vai phai di महाकाली प्रकृति का कोटि कोटि संपदा को आचरण विहरु ज्ञान भूमि शांति भूमि तारे पहाड़ी वाला अखंड यो प्यारो हमरो मातृभूमि में पला बहु जाति भाषा धर्म संस्कृति संति शाला
Thank you. Please be seated. I now invite our chief guest, Mr. Michael Rutland, OBE, advisor to the British College, for the official graduation inauguration with the lighting of the Panas. This marks the official opening of the fourth graduation ceremony of the British College. Thank you. I now invite Dr. John Bateman, Principal of the British College, for the welcome address. With a PhD in Educational Management, Dr. Bateman has 25 years of experience in UK higher education, serving on a range of academic institutes in research, staffing, validation, and quality assurance for the universities of Surrey, Birmingham, Wolverhampton, and Huddersfield. He has acted as a specialist and consultant in curriculum development, teacher training, and professional development in a variety of Asian countries, including Thailand, Singapore, China and Malaysia. He has led English language programs in many different countries, as well as acting as an examiner for the British Council. So it's my pleasure to um, welcome everybody today. Uh, welcome to the Ambassador, uh, distinguished guests, um, representatives from our partner universities, um, the CEO, of course, um, of the British College, um, Parents, and, and last but not least, all the graduates who we welcome today. I know many of uh, the people I've just mentioned have come from a, a long distance, travel very uh, far to be here with us today, so we really appreciate um, that uh, effort to get here. As the principal of, of the British College, it's, it's my pleasure then to welcome all the students especially uh, who we're dedicating this occasion to. We're joining together to both recognize and celebrate their achievements. Let me just say throughout the one year I've been here at the college, uh, I've shared uh, the journey with um, all of you along the way, so I understand all the hard work and sacrifices you've made, and um, I, I know you truly deserve the success that you've achieved um, at this time. I'm sure you will feel a, a mixture of emotions today. There will be um, a mixture of sadness at leaving, as well as a tremendous sense of relief that you've uh, finished your program of study and we take great pride in that. These years definitely represent one chapter in your life, and now at graduation, another is beginning, as you now need to prepare for the challenges in, in this new period. So at this time, not only are you in possession of, of the knowledge of your chosen subject, but also the qualities and the skills that make you will make you, and already have made you, an active and responsible citizen, complete with all the necessary skills so that you can make a significant contribution to society in the future. Let me just offer a few simple words of advice today. Um, you probably can guess it's a long time since I graduated. Um, I want to remind you, though, that learning must be a lifelong exercise. So for all of you, it should not stop here today. Learning every day is one of the keys, I think, to the success that you'll have in the future. In this process, I'd, I'd say, you must be your own best critic in order to gain self-knowledge, and you should also listen carefully to the advice of close friends and, of course, your family. It is also important that you're open and ready to tackle any problems that lie ahead because in your future life, you will be things will be constantly changing and you will find it hard 
to predict what results will come from all your actions. So along this journey, you will have both successes and setbacks, but remember, you, you know you will have to in, learn how to interact with others, and that will help to determine your sec success or failure. If you treat people as you want to be treated, so then you can become someone who is worthy of respect. Let me finish um, a, as a reminder of the importance of, of priorities. As you are graduating into a world which we have to accept will have great uncertainties with so many changes globally, the most important things for me in life are you need to have the, the courage to stay true to your dreams and don't try to be something that you're not. So you can live your life as an honest and compassionate person. Remember also that there's nothing you cannot um, overcome if you're prepared to seize opportunities and strive realistically to meet your goals. So let me finish by saying I believe in your commitment, in your passion, and in your ability to serve others. Therefore, I think I can count on all of you to make a difference in this world. All of us at the British College will continue to lend whatever support we can to further your future career. So I really want to stress that we will definitely keep in touch and we want you to keep in touch with us. Thank you. Thank you, John. Next, I invite Mr. Rajan Kandel, CEO of the British College, for his formal address. Mr. Rajan Kandel is a British Nepali businessman and entrepreneur. He is the director of the Kandel Group UK and its subsidiaries. He has been chairing the Britain Nepal Chamber of Commerce since 2015 and he is an advisor for the non-resident Nepalese Association, UK. Mr. Kandel has been incredibly successful in international business, but his passion lies in education. He went to the UK in 1999 for his higher education. Following his success in the UK, he desired to give something back to the country from which he was born. Therefore, he founded the British College in 2011, which today is one of the leading international colleges in Nepal, with over 2,000 students gaining British degrees and in invaluable international business experience. It is because of his hard work, diligence and dedication that this institute exists. Thank you, Camila. That's a very generous introduction. Namaste and very good afternoon, everyone. As a CEO of the British College, uh, I, take, I take as an honor and privilege to welcome you all this afternoon in this graduation ceremony. Respected chief guest, Honorable Michael Rutland, our advisors, Dr. Chiran Tapa, Paul Cleves, Her Majesty Ambassador to the UK, Richard Morris, President of Nepal Britain Chamber of Commerce, Rajendra Khatan, Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean from University of the West of England, Donna Whitehead, Principal Lecturer from Leeds Beckett University, Leslie Earle, Representative from Ministry of Education, Mr. Ketab, Keshab Ajikhari, graduating students, distinguished guests, parents, very important, who are sitting at the back here, teaching faculties, staff of British College, a very warm welcome to you all this afternoon. To all young ladies and gentlemen here, who are in front of us here today. Uh, today is one of the great occasions of your life, 
after all, the effort you have put onto. Here's the day for you to celebrate. Congratulations, class of 2018 graduates. You made it. We're all delighted with your success. The class of 2018 has been a truly remarkable class in all endeavors. It is not only because you'll be representing us, it is special also because of the fond memories you've given us. It is with a tremendous amount of pride and pleasure I wish each member of this class 2018 a big congratulations. As a member of TBC community for the past years, this is an opportunity to reflect upon your accomplishments and to prepare for future opportunities that lie ahead. Dear graduates, look back at your success and challenging time you have you had and as they have brought you here today you've created many memories and your class with your classmates and friends in a longer run you've learned from your teachers coaches who not only inspired and encouraged you but went an extra mile to support you, cherish those memories as the journey has shaped you to become who you are today. Celebrate this moment and take the time to thank all who have been instrumental in, your, in helping you achieve this milestone to all who have been influential in your accomplishments. We also hope you will remember your time here as being some of the happiest years of your life. Setting up TBC with a mission to providing high quality education with global exposure to our students wasn't an easy task for me. But today, when I look back and when I see you guys, I'm extremely delighted. Though a long way lies ahead, it's been, possi it, it's been possible only with the commitment, aspiration for success of people associated directly or indirectly with TBC. I would like to thank all of them. I would also like to share some good news about the British College, which, has, which is a leading and probably the largest international college in Nepal, which we achieved in a very short time. We're expanding in other countries, especially starting with UAE. Our students will now be able to get industry exposure and international experience in Dubai and London too. I would like to impart some food for thought by Peter Drucker. Knowledge has to be improved, challenged, and increase constantly or it vanishes. With this, I would like to request that you stay in touch with the college as we see you are our true ambassador. Graduates can join British College Alumni Network and through it, we wish to hear about your progress and hope that we can work with you in future. I would also like to remind bachelor students, especially bachelor graduating students here, that you can continue your masters with us now as well. Uh, we have uh, programs like MBA, MSC IT, 
and you will automatically, being our own student for undergraduate, you'll get automatic 25% scholarship. I think it's time to think about your further study as well, and I think it's best to finish your, your study and at least get this out of your way. You've, and then you can focus on your future careers, jobs, whatever you want to do. I'm telling you, it will be a bit hard that once you got into job, once you have a business, maybe once you got very busy, very committed on those, and coming back to education and trying to finish your master sometimes becomes very difficult. It's very difficult to concentrate when you've got work presses, and maybe some of you will be married, you will be children around, pulling you to different directions. So think about it, it's just a thought. Um, and actually, I can tell you from my own experience, I was just finishing my MBA recently from University College London, and I found it very difficult with all the work pressures and family commitments. Well, myself and the rest of the TBC wish you a very best in your future careers. Graduation isn't the end of the journey, it is the beginning of a beautiful one. Congratulations once again, TBC graduates, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I now invite His Excellency, Mr. Richard Morris, Her Majesty's Ambassador to Nepal, for his address. His Excellency, Mr. Richard Morris, was appointed Her Majesty's Ambassador to Nepal in 2015. He is a Fellow of the Chartered Institute of Marketing and of the Royal Society for Arts, Manufacture and Commerce. He took up his role as Head of the Pacific Department at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office in January 2013. Between 2008 and 2012, he was Her Majesty's Consul General and Director of General Trade and Investment in Australasia. Prior to that, he was Deputy Head of Mission and Her Majesty's Consul General at the British Embassy in Mexico City. Before going overseas, he was Head of Assistance Group in Consular Directorate in the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, which he entered via open competition and since then, he has worked in many British government offices. CEO and founder of the British College, Rajan Kandel, Principal Bateman, British Honorary Consul to Bhutan, Michael Rutland, Executive Director of the Ketan Group and Head of the Nepal Britain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Rajendra Ketan, Pro Vice Chancellor Donna Whitehead from the University of the West of England, Principal Lecturer Leslie Earle from Leeds Beckett University, other distinguished advisors to the British College, College, friends from the Department of Education, members of the British College, families, students, and most importantly, today's graduates. Namaskar, Mironam Richard Morriso, Rama Balait Sagagorajdutu, Tapa Hirule Bitera Derikushilagyu. My Thank you. I'm the British Ambassador to Nepal, and it's a pleasure and an honour to be invited to speak at the British College graduation ceremony today. I'm delighted to be here with the British College again this year. The College has been making remarkable progress in the few short years of its existence. I'm delighted to see it continuing to go from strength to strength, and I think to have seen some of you at different stages of your academic journey before. It's, a great, it's great to be with you again now at this event to mark the culmination of a good deal of hard work. The formal relationship between Britain and Nepal is 202 years old. I'm very proud that it's Nepal's longest, oldest relationship and to be the 43rd British representative to Nepal. The relationship has many strands, including the Gurkhas, the development partnership and growing trade and investment ties. But we also work together with Nepal on some of the biggest issues of the day, from climate change to human trafficking and peacekeeping. These issues are not limited to national borders, but require international cooperation to find solutions. 
They reflect the fact that the world is increasingly interconnected, digital, and changeable. These are the issues, these are the issues we all need to tackle, and they need critical thinking, imagination, and innovation to resolve them. But they also present opportunities, including for greater collaboration, accountability, and understanding. I trust the education that you've received here at the British College has helped equip you for the impact of those challenges on the field in which you've chosen to work and prepared you to seize those opportunities. As you reflect back on your studies, I hope you're pleased to have chosen the British College and UK qualifications. The UK regularly tops the international university charts with the two best universities in the world, as well as enjoying a fantastic reputation for scientific research, we top the charts for our contribution to science and technology, for example, and produce a disproportionate amount of research for our small size. It's great to see the University of the West of England and Leeds Beckett University offering courses here in Nepal. Both institutions have deep roots, with Leeds Beckett going back to the 1820s and the University of the West of England tracing its roots back to 1595. But both are forward-looking institutions offering a great range of cutting-edge courses to students and it's very good to have them represented here in Nepal. I want to say well done to everyone at those institutions and all the staff, board and members of the British College for what they have done for the students here today. Very many congratulations to everybody who's receiving their qualifications. It's a real achievement to pass those exams. As a parent of university students, I also congratulate the parents, families and friends for all the support, financial and I'm sure emotional, that they have given to the students to get to this point. I'm sorry I'm unable to stay for the whole event, but I really wanted to be here for at least part of it. Very many congratulations again to the organisers, and I hope you all have the special afternoon that all that hard work means you deserve. Thank you very much. Shubhakamana, Deri Danyavad, and Namaskar. Thank you, sir. Next, I invite Mr. Rajendra Ketan, Executive Director of the Ketan Group, for his address. Mr. Rajendra Ketan's business is in the financial sector which includes bank, capital market, microfinance, and insurance. He is the president of the Nepal Britain Chamber of Commerce, the Honorary Council of Portugal, and in the education sector, the senator of Kathmandu University. He recently received the national award of official da Ordem do Infante de Henrique, Jana Sewa Shri, and Gorka da Chinbao. Your Excellency, academia, students, and the proud parents, teachers, and friends. Well, today I'm going to speak to the students. We have done your education. We are going into the competitive market. There are millions and billions of people whom you have to challenge, where you have to stand, where you have to lead. The world is changing, the practice of business is changing, the nature of business is changing. Can you imagine a country like Nepal is already dealing with six or seven regionalism. The one, at least for the traffic sense you sensed, Bimstek was the one. There are so many others, we call it Asia-Pacific Trade Arrangement, we call it SAFTA, we call it WTO. We call it uh, growth quadrangle and many more. This all means one thing, opportunity, creativity, new markets, seamlessness, boundary, barriers to be broken. And who's going to drive it? The human resources. The question remains with you. Do you want to be, uh, do you want to be employed? Or you want to be employer? I tell you, I come from a business background. Try to look from today onwards as an employer. Believe on yourself. 
believe in yourself within on and in you will find something you have a creative inherent quality hidden inside you try to bring it out your education will help you the market will support you the banks are there to finance you you have to show the ability and i tell you you have a great future not taking a long time let me welcome you to the industrial or trade or economic or human resources market on behalf of the private sector welcome all of you thank you thank you mr ketan now i invite mr rajan kandal and his excellency mr richard morris to come forward on the stage for the presentation of our token of appreciation I would also like to invite Mr. Rajendra Ketan to come forward onto the stage for his token of appreciation. Thank you to our respected guests. Next, I invite Mr. Paul Cleaves, MBE, advisor to the British College, for his address. He was head of geography at Eton College in the United Kingdom and a number of his students have gone on to positions of leadership and responsibility. He left Eton to found the Saigon Children's Charity in Vietnam for which he received his title as Order of the Member of the British Empire MBE. He is an advisor to schools and colleges following a British curriculum and the author of a best-selling textbook used by high school and university students. Well, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and all at the British College. It is a fact that no matter which country you live in, you will hear people complaining about the government. If you live in Greece, Italy, Germany, England, Venezuela, or even America, you will hear complaints and often loud complaints about the incompetence, stupidity, corruption, slothfulness, indolence, arrogance and hypocrisy of the government. Would I be right in thinking similar similar complaints are voiced here too? I don't know. But at least in many countries, including Nepal, people are able to voice their complaints and in some cases steps are made to improve specific grievances the symptoms even though the innate nature of governments and bureaucracies means the underlying causes of the problem will often persist now in countries where governments and government bureaucracies are responsible for providing most services health water energy transport communications for example an incompetent government will result in the long suffering of its people with unfulfilled and sometimes blighted lives compared with those whose governments are more competent and caring and this is the reason why in recent decades there has been a movement to liberalize the market to allow private companies to offer services in these sectors and space exploration too in the belief that private enterprise being motivated by the profit incentive and by customer loyalty in an era of choice can do things better and i think it would be true to say that in many countries where these things have been tried the results in some areas at least have shown an improvement in the level of service quality however one would have to be deaf to the clamor of voices in recent years not to have noticed a groundswell of opinion not only from the left but from all sides of the political arena of deep unhappiness with the way the capitalist system has been working left to itself 
the natural forces of capital seem to be leading to a concentration of more and more wealth in fewer and fewer hands, while more and more people are left working uncertain hours on wages which are sometimes so low, and I'm talking about the United Kingdom here, that the government ends up subsidising the workers. Even though the employers are not actually breaking the law, surely this is morally wrong and a morally and eco economically bankrupt way to run a business and an economy. So, graduates of the British College, what is my message to you today? It is this. All systems of government and economy have been tried. And they all have their strengths and their weaknesses. No one person, no matter how politically or financially powerful he or she may be, can ever really change the system. However, it is the case that you, as graduates of the British College, with British degrees, will exert more than the average level of influence, both here in Nepal and in the wider world. Although you may start as employees, small, overworked and underpaid cogs in a big machine, many of you will become employers and business leaders. Some of you will become politicians. Some of you will obtain important positions in the government. And in using your influence, in charting the course for your business, in setting prices, in setting wages, and in setting salary and terms of employment, your hand is not entirely free. You have to remain competitive. You have to make money. But for the sake of those you deal with, for the sake of the broader community and country, and for your sake too, always operate with morality, decency, and fairness. Not merely within the law, although that helps too. We all have a conception of right and wrong. We all have a conception of what is fair and what is not fair. And I'm quite sure if we conducted a questionnaire of right and wrong, fair and unfair, the vast majority of people here in this room today would be in agreement. In being just may not maximize your personal wealth, and in being fair, you may not maximize your power but you will maximize your happiness. You will enhance the well-being and happiness of your employees, and you will improve society. It may not seem so through your youthful eyes, but we are only on this planet for a short time. It is not the lot of many of us to make a big difference to the world. But, if we can leave the world a better and a happier place, then we will have done something of love. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, I invite Dr. Chiran Tapa, advisor to the British College, for his address. Dr. Chiran Tapa began his esteemed academic career at the College of Pennsylvania, USA, where he gained his bachelor's degree in physics. He continued his education at Trinity College, the University of Cambridge, where he was awarded his master's degree in economics. Dr. Chiran Tapa was the first Nepali to study at the University of Cambridge, and he has paved the way for many more Nepali students to attend the respected academic institute. Since then, Dr. Chiran Tapa has been awarded an honorary doctorate in recognition of his work and career. 
the British College is grateful for the invaluable experience and expertise that he brings our institution and his dedication to the provision of international teaching within Nepal. Thanks to the faculty and governance of the college, you have access to further education or employment suited to your interest and your lofty goals. Whatever you decide, please keep in mind Nepal's needs, Nepal's interests, and the Nepali people's welfare. Everywhere in the world, we, we see in the new technologies, new intelligences, how one man or woman can make an outsized difference. With the British degree that you have, you have been taught to think originally and with purpose. What more can one ask? Except to further your training, formation to post even harder, even wider in practical application for the greatest welfare of our Nepali brothers and sisters. The MSc International Management and Master of Business Administration postgraduates deserve accolades for their high achievements. And those with bachelor's in business administration and computing are headed for great careers of further studies. Other advisors join me in, in thanking you for making us proud of the college and the British universities which award you your richly deserved degrees. We have no doubt that the future holds great promise for you. The award, the award is individually and in the environment which you choose to pursue, whatever further academic or employment that you want to pursue. With the experience of awards and degrees that we, uh, that we have garnered, myself and others, in our relatively high life, in our relatively longish life, our blessings go with you. Thank you. Now we shall begin the complement of awards for the University of the West of England. First, for such, I would like to invite Ms Donna Whitehead, Pro Vice-Chancellor and Executive Dean from the University of the West of England for her formal address. She has overall responsibility for the leadership of the Faculty of Business and Law, which has nearly 300 staff and over 6,000 students. Her background is in legal and financial services. She prides herself in providing and developing partnerships for the faculty that will help to achieve strategic objectives. She was named New Director of the Year in the Institute of Directors Southwest Awards. She is also an elected member of the Council of the Chartered Association of Business Schools and sits as a member on the Research Committee. Chief Executive, Principal, Honoured Guests, Graduands, Ladies and Gentlemen. As Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean of the Faculty of Business and Law at UWE Bristol, it is my privilege and great pleasure to be here today sharing in your happiness and success. Today is a special occasion, celebrating your achievements and marking the next stage of your professional journey and I encourage you all to enjoy it to the full. Huge congratulations to every single one of you. Your friends, families, fellow graduates, and all of the staff at the British College and UWE Bristol share in your happiness today. At UWE, our strategy is to have strong, successful partnerships. We believe that success is best achieved by working collaboratively. The partnership between UWE Bristol and the, Brist and the British College is a wonderful example of this. The partnership, which has now been in place since 2013, is one that continues to grow, as together we support more and more students 
to realize their ambitions. Our two great institutions have common visions, missions, and aspirations. The British College strives to be a world-class college, equipping graduates with the knowledge, skills, and values they need for success in the global job market and becoming creative entrepreneurs. At UWE, we share these goals. We are focused on advancing knowledge, inspiring people, and transforming futures. We promote enterprise and entrepreneurship, and we are truly internationalized in our approach. Like all of you here today, your university is ambitious. Education is about transforming lives. It is about leaving the world a better place than we found it. We want to bring these opportunities and benefits to more and more individuals and communities across the globe, particularly in Nepal, where we are very proud to have such a strong partnership. The partnership is of huge benefit to individuals, employers and communities, helping to transform lives and drive economic growth and development. At UE Bristol, we are very proud to play such a significant part in your journey. And, is, and it is your whole student journey that is important to us. We work closely with the staff at the British College, and I know myself how committed, talented, and hardworking they all are. Together, we work to ensure that you are prepared for the future. But it is important to remember that university is not just about preparing students for the immediate workplace. It is about ensuring that you can engage and flourish in a rapidly changing world, where technologies beyond our current imagination are creating jobs that don't even exist yet. In this fast-changing environment, knowledge, creativity, and agility are at a premium. This is where the true value of your learning experience and qualification will be most evident. As you progress with your ambitions, I want you to believe in your ability be bold and choose wisely. Be someone people can put their trust in and use your skills and knowledge to leave the world a better place. I'm a very proud Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean. It is a real privilege to be part of such a talented, modern and forward-thinking university. And it is a real privilege to be working in partnership, to be working in partnership with you all here at the British College. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of the staff here for their contribution and being so talented, enthusiastic and committed. Graduates, on behalf of my colleagues, I congratulate you all again. This is your day as we celebrate your achievements. You are the future and each and every one of you will make a difference with the knowledge and skills that you've developed. I wish each and every one of you the very best in your future lives and aspirations. Thank you. I now call Mr. Subhajit Sanyal, Master's Programme Leader, to present to you the graduates of MSc in International Business Management, MSc IBM. Thank you, Camilla. Good afternoon and namaste. I have the honor to present to you the graduates from the Master of Science in International Business Management. I would like to invite Ms. Donna Whitehead to confer the awards. Now I'll call upon the names of the graduates. Auhan Srishta. Distinction. Ayusha Srishta. Ankita Sariya. Anushka Agrawal
अर्पणा प्रधान डिस्टिंक्शन विवेक महर्जन बो सौ दिव्यानी अग्रवाल गांजू खड़का गौरव कुमार सराफ कोलित साख्या कृतन अवाल कुशल कर्मचारी डिस्टिंक्शन निकुपुरी नीरज अग्रवाल डिस्टिंक्शन राहुल कसाजू राहुल श्रेष्ठा डिस्टिंक्शन रक्षा खड़का रिजू तिमला डिस्टिंक्शन सज्जन प्रसाद गुरु सरीना राज राज कर्णिकार डिस्टिंक्शन श्रेया गौतम सुरेश मा लामसल लास्ट बट नॉट द लिस्ट गौरव कुमार सराफ दैट कंक्लूड द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द अवार्ड फॉर मास्टर ऑफ साइंस इन इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट थैंक यू थैंक यू Congratulations. I now call Ms. Kamuda Lamichani, Bachelor's in Business Administration, BBA Program Leader, to present to you the graduates of BBA. I have the honor to present to you the graduates for the Bachelor's in Business Administration. I would like to invite Ms. Donna Whitehead uh, to confer the awards. Abhijit Subedi. Applause 
अभिराश भंडारी अभिषेक चंद अभिषेक दुलाल ऐश्वर्या शाक्य Aman Shakir distinction Amin Kawan distinction Ankit Ratna Tulather अंकुर न्योपाने आरजू शर्मा आश्रु पांडे Ayush Gopali Biman Shakya Vivek Manandar Bikal Gurung Viva Bajacharya Vivek Yadav Deviani Bura Divya Pradhan Grisha Bajacharya Distinction Harish Kumar Sharma Malvika Oli Melissa Shrestha Nilu Chaudhary Nihish Maharjan Pamela Lama
Pramit Kesi. Prasanna Shakya. Praveen Yakthumba. Robin Byanjankar. Rahul Shahi. Ritika Shrestha. Shabnam Chapagai. Sahil Gurung. Sajina Adhikari. Saurabh Man Shrestha. Shivani Pandey. Simran Saraogi. Simran Thapalia. Sojan Bahadur Bista. Sonam Lama. Soniv Surkheti. Sudhicha Joshi. Sudip Pata Sujan Sapkota Sumit Shakya Sushin Joshi Distinction Susmita Khadka Tanya Garg Tejita Shrestha <laughs> U 
Pujan Shrestha. <laughs> Yuki Gaochan Distinction. That concludes the presentation of the awards for Bachelors in Business Administration. Congratulations, Class of 2018. Thank you. Congratulations to the University of the West of England graduates. I now invite Mr. Arwan Shrestha, a, st a student of MSc IBM, to make a speech on behalf of the MSc IBM graduating batch. Namaste everyone. On behalf of the graduates, I welcome everyone and thank you for celebrating this special day with us. First of all, I'd like to congratulate all students here, including myself, with finally graduating after two years of hard work. Today, I feel so excited standing here as it is a day of mixed emotions, but this is a special day for us. I'm glad and thankful to everyone here tonight, especially to my dad and mom for supporting me and guiding me on my key decisions. I'd also like to thank my teachers, especially Prozal sir, Suman sir, Suvjit sir, Bharat sir, and my friends from MIBM and EMBA. I'll provide you a short glimpse of our experience here in TBC. Before joining TBC, I was really a healthy guy. I weighed around 89 kg and now I'm around 80 kg. Thank you to the British College and UWE, and thank God it was only two years course, otherwise I will have developed a six pack by now. <laughs> I still remember three years ago when I was doubting whether to go abroad or study here in Nepal, because I was not happy with the traditional approach of studying here, which is a, getting a qualification by just sitting for exams. Luckily, I heard about this British college affiliated to UWE. I made inquiries and decided to stay here in, in Nepal, and I did not regret it. The course was related to the various current issue, topics, case studies, and research projects, the assignments which helped me to develop my skills. The turning point of my career was my dissertation. Thank you, Bird sir and Prajul sir. We have survived our exams, assignments, and group work. I think we should be very proud that we are here in one piece today. Indeed, it was not an easy journey to come to this finish line today. We all worked hard and completed a step in our life. However, every end has a new beginning. When one cycle is completed, another cycle starts. So much of experience and many memories from our days at this college. What I'm trying to say is I can feel the energy and passion of students here at TBC especially the younger ones. They are so dynamic. Thank you, Suman, sir, for providing me the opportunity to interact with the undergraduate students and under, uh, other students at TBC. If I had to do this speech five years ago, then I would have hesitated as I was not someone that felt comfortable with giving speeches. I was very much an introvert, but I have realized that good things happen when you come out of your comfort zone. It's not easy, but it's definitely worth it. Thank you, Subhijit sir, for providing me with this opportunity to share my college experience on this special occasion. They say education is the key to success. It molds us in a way to overcome situations and broadens our horizon. I have met great people that have inspired me to a great extent. Some of them are from college. I kept learning from my friends, especially my coding classmate, Mr. Bo, who was always on time, not just in class, but everywhere, despite his busy schedule. What I have learned from this is that time management is very important. So thank you everyone, especially my friends from MIBM and EMBA, because they say you are a reflection of your circle of friends. We enjoyed a lot, but we were all focused on, on our goals and cheers for that. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many A's you have scored, or how much you earn, it's about giving your best. As time goes by, it is the love for our friends, our college, and humanity that will make the difference in our lives. We must continue to nurture a love for our world with all its challenges more than ever before. I'm glad that I have joined the British College and hope that this institution will grow, grow 
learn and prosper to be the best in the country. On my last note, I would like to say, get inspired, whether it is from your parents, friends, teachers, books, or songs. A great song artist, Eminem, in his song said, if you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, will you capture it or just let it slip? So congratulations once again to everyone. Enjoy this moment. Thank you and namaste. Thank you, Arwan. Now I invite Ms. Grisha Bhadracharya, a student of BBA, to make a speech on behalf of the BBA graduating batch. Good afternoon, honorable guests, teachers, parents, and graduates. I welcome and thank you all for being a part of this special celebration today. Finally, the day has come. There are a plethora of words to describe our feelings. Happy that finally no assignments or exams. However, also sad that we'll be missing all the fun we had past these four years spent in the British College. Looking back at to, those, to those four years, I believe they were and are the most crucial moment of my life. I've made friends, I've researched a lot. It's not easy making a report, going through an entire book only to put a line of reference, and that too comes with a percentage of plagiarism. <laughs> Waking up at, uh, early at 5 to 6 a.m. in the chilly mornings of Kathmandu to ride a scooter and to write notes in those freezing hands are definitely memory, uh, memories to remember. We all had no idea that college would be ending this soon. Time indeed flies. Each one of us took this step to pursue a bachelor's degree in our beloved college. I bet we all had a hard time in those years wanting to give up, but we stuck it out. We all deserve some round of applause for successfully completing our time here despite all, the, all that we have endured. For now, an even tougher time awaits us. The reality of life is yet to dawn upon us. Today, we gather here to celebrate our success where all our hard work paid off. We've made ourselves proud overcoming the challenges life threw at us during our time at the university. It has not been an easy journey, but thankfully, we reached the finishing line. As it goes, every end has a new beginning. We are entering to a new chapter in our lives. Some know what they need to do right after graduation, and some are in the search of finding themselves. No matter at which point you are in life, I encourage you to use the same spirit that you have shown, the sacrifices you have made, the sleepless nights you have endured. This is what will keep you going on to your next destination. Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. I was not the student who always excelled in my studies, and yes, I did fail. I was always having issues with one thing or the other, trying to do my best. After joining the British College, I found a new me. I always jumped to conclusions before even trying, but here I learned to never give up. It was surprising for me that I actually got better in my studies. Here at the university provided, the, provided me the pl platform and opportunity to explore my abilities. I focused on my studies, participated in various college events, and also an interstock competition. Here I met great people and individuals who turned out to be my lovely friends, inspiring me and standing with me every step of the way. We have shared unforgettable and priceless memories that made these four years even more special, from sleepless nights to going on trips, starting an everlasting friendship. I'm proud to say that we have grown together. We are different from the person when we first got here. I do not promise you an easy journey and that it is going to be the same for everyone, but it is all up to each one of us to make our dreams come true, pushing ourselves to work even harder. We don't know what's coming next, but we must have faith in ourselves facing the uncertainty. To conclude, I'd like to thank Kumuda Ma'am, Mani Sir, and all the teachers for helping us in every step of our journey at the university. Thank you for always your support and guidance in every possible way. Thank you, the British College and UWE, for this memory, time, opportunity, and every little thing you have given. You took me in as a child, and I'm leaving you to conquer the world. So let us show the world what we, the students of British College, are truly made of and hope to make you proud. 
Lastly, I'd like to thank my mom and dad and all our, all our parents for always standing behind us. I congratulate you all and wish you all the success and happiness. All the very best. Thank you, Grisha. Moving on now to the complement of awards of Leeds Beckett University. I would like to invite Ms. Leslie Earle, Principal Lecturer and Coordinator of Franchises of the School of Computing, Creative Technologies and Engineering at Leeds Beckett University for her formal address. Ms. Leslie Earle has been an academic at Leeds Beckett University since 2000 previously having worked in education for 10 years and the civil service for five years. Her first degree was in mathematics, followed by an MSc in computing, an MBA executive, and a postgraduate diploma in higher education. Her current research is focused on green computing strategies. Graduates, parents, and guests, I'm delighted to welcome you all today to this special event, the fourth graduation ceremony of our BSc Honours Computing and the graduation of the first cohort of the Executive MBA studied here at the British College, Nepal. At Leeds Beckett University, our commitment to our students is at the core of everything we do. We have a 190-year history of education, which began with the founding of the Leeds Mechanics Institute in 1824. We are proud of our history and excited about our future. We have around 2,900 members of staff and more than 28,000 students in almost 100 countries around the world. We are rightly proud to hold the Customer Service Excellence Award and the Investors in People Gold Standard, the European Commission HR Excellence in Research Award and Silver in the recently introduced Teaching Excellence Framework. Last year we were finalists for the Higher Education Academy Global Teaching Excellence Award, which celebrates university-wide teaching excellence. We have more than, one, more than 10 Higher Education Academy National Teaching Fellows at our university who are individually recognized for their excellence in teaching and learning. Our research has been graded world leading or internationally excellent in almost all academic disciplines and we are second in the UK in our research power in sport. We are one of the UK's biggest providers of higher education, training, research and development, transforming the lives and prospects of thousands of individuals and organisations, and contributing around £500 million every year to our local economy. We are committed to collaborative working and improving access to education and our university continues to focus on its overseas franchise. The successful collaboration with the British College Nepal is continuing to grow with not only our largest and most successful BSc Honours Computing Award, we are pleased this year to be welcoming postgraduates in our first cohort of the Executive MBA in this ceremony. Next week, we will also see the start of our first cohort of our MSc Information and Technology IT Management Award, which will be an excellent progression route for the BSc computing students who wish to continue benefiting from our collaboration with the British College. Over the last few years, the BSc Computing has continued to grow, and as well as students studying for three years, it now includes new cohorts to the final, final year students, and still maintains outstanding statistics in progression and very good percentage of students gaining a good degree, that is first class or a 2-1 classification. This is testament to each student's hard work but also the dedication of both the academic and the support staff who ensure the students have a very high quality experience in a caring environment in the British College. 
Graduates and guests, it gives me great pride to attend our, as our representative for the fourth graduation ceremony, um, where we will be seeing around 100 students graduate from the BSc Honours Computing. This is one of my, award, my school's um, most popular awards, which serves a strategic need in the region, the country, and across the world. The award prepares our students for the ever-developing digital environment, which almost all organizations, however large and small, rely on. The award has a range of specialisms from software engineering, databases, web development, and networking. And students can choose electives in some of the current areas of computing, like digital security. They are well prepared to design, build, and maintain the digital technologies and systems which are central to our 21st century life, work, and leisure. We are now about to welcome our first cohort of students at master's level in the MSc Information and Technology IT Management. We are looking forward to supporting the students in Nepal to successfully achieve this exciting and career enhancing award, which also provides the progression to the BSc Computing. I'm also proud to attend the graduation of the first cohort of the Executive MBA. This franchise is based in our Leeds Business School, and I am among one of its alumni. Having completed the award in 2006, this award aimed at experienced business professionals with more than two years business experience, aims to develop and transform leadership skills through strategic uh, development and management. In developing the managerial style, it aims to transform them into strategic thinkers helping them to feel confident in applying and using theory in a practical way for the global environment now faced in business. This graduating cohort is made up of very experienced uh, employees and managers from a broad range of in in industries. As is expected in the course of this type, input from very experienced academics is vital but an important part of the learning will have been the sharing of knowledge from your own experience and industry within your cohort and the ability to learn from others' experience and your fellow students. I'm sure your reflections on your course will have confirmed the importance of this opportunity and that this will remain an outstanding part of your experience. I'm sure you will all enjoy this special occasion. Our university's aspiration is to create great graduates who will make exceptional employees, dynamic citizens and enterprising leaders. We believe that the skills and experience you have gained in your time with us have given you all the tools you need to use every opportunity and to succeed in your future endeavours. Equally, I hope that you have had a memorable experience with us at the British College and Leeds Beckett University. So much so that I hope you will consider continuing your relationship with us in the future through membership of our alumni network and perhaps a period of further postgraduate or research study. Whatever you choose that relationship to be, we will always see you as a member of the Leeds Beckett family. Today is dedicated to recognizing your achievements, and I hope that you will remember this day for the rest of your lives. So without further ado, I want to end by simply reiterating the university's warmest congratulations to you on your success, and also extend our very best wishes for your future. Congratulations once again, and enjoy your well-deserved day. Thank you, Ms. L. Now I call Mr. Subhajit Sanyal, Master's Program Leader, to present to you the graduates of Master's in Business Administration Executive. I feel very proud to present to you the graduates from the, for Master's of Business Administration Executive from Leeds Beckett University, because I myself have graduated from the same university way back in 2004. 
So uh, I would like to invite once again Miss Leslie Earl to confer the awards. Krishna Bahadur Singh. Pravesh Lal Srishta. Sadhicha Srishta, distinction. Safal Bhakt Srishta. Sujata Singh and last but not the least my colleague Suman Krishna Sreshta from TBC. That concludes the presentation of the awards for Master of Business Administration Executive. Congratulations to the first batch of MB Executive. I now call Mr. Aaron Joshi, Computing Program Leader and Associate Dean, to present to you the graduates of BSc Computing. Good afternoon. I have the honor to present to you the graduates from BSc Honors Computing Program. I would like to invite Leslie Earl to confer the awards. Atmiya Baral. ABD Bastola. Avian Sresta Amod Adikar Amok Rizal Amor Sakya Onis Shrestha Ankit Basnet Anus to ladder. Asim Timilsina. Asim Wagli. Otis Martin Avishek Kale
Banana Singh, first class honors. Bhava Sresta, first class honors. Vivek Bhatta. Vivek Thakal, first class honors. Vijay Bista. Bipin Thapa. Vishal Sonkar. Damodar Baral. David Swal. Deepan Shrestha. Elina Bakati, first class honors. <laughs> Gloria Amate. Asif Ahmed Lone. Ishwar Thapa, first class honors. Jasmine Pokhril. John Sarma. Joshua Sakya, first class honors. Katavya Basnet, first class honors. Kiran Dual. Kriti Parajali. Sitis Kumar Rai.
सिटीज पाउडल कुंदन था कुशल आचार्य कुशल श्रेष्ठ लाखपा छिंग शेरपा फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स मेलन श्रेष्ठ मेलिना सटेल फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स मिकिटा लाकव मोनिका कवादी नयन बास्तोला फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स निकेश बराल निमेश श्रेष्ठ नीरज कर्ण पंकज पोखरे पारस खड़का पारस मणि दुलाल Parisa Rawat first class honors Paito Siadab प्रकाश खड़का फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स प्रकृति लामे प्रमेश केसी First class honors. Praveshika Vandari, first class honors.
Priyanka Nyupani, first class honors. Pallav Raj Giri. Ravi Kawadi, first class honors. Ravina Kimire. Ranjiv Gautam. Reagan Mahatan. Rikesh Upadhyay. Rikesh Paudel. Roy Singh Sunam. Roshan Rimal. Roshan Maharjan, first class honors. Sachin Shrestha. Saloni Sresta Samir Karmachari Samik Marjan Sandeep Bania Sandeep Upreti First Class Honours Sandeep Malla Sanjeev Khapangi Magar, first class honors. Sanjeevan Sigdal, first class honors. Santos Thapa, first class honors.
सरोज श्रेष्ठ सतीश श्रेष्ठ फर्स्ट क्लास ओनर्स सौरभ सिंह बस्नेट फर्स्ट क्लास ओनर्स सौरभ श्रेष्ठ फर्स्ट क्लास ओनर्स सैपसन महर्जन शशांक ग्यवाली शशि भक्त सिग्देल श्रीजोल गिरी फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स सिमरिक रिजाल फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स सिसी दास श्रेष्ठ सिसी किमिरे छेत्री फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स सीता कुमारी था मगर सीताराम दहाल फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स स्मृति लामिछाने सृष्टि रिमाल फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स सुबेक राज खिंजू फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स सुजान चौधरी सुलभ श्रेष्ठ फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स सुमित कुमार मानंदर सुनील राय फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स सुरेंद्र श्रेष्ठ सुशांत महर्जन
सुशील आचार्य सुशील पांडे टुरास टयना उज्ज्वल श्रेष्ठ फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स उत्सव अमाटे फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स एंड लास्ट बट नॉट लीस्ट उत्सव भंडारी फर्स्ट क्लास ऑनर्स दैट कंक्लूज द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ the awards for bsc honors computing program congratulations to all graduates and parents thank you congratulations to all the leeds beckett university graduates i now invite sadiksha shrasta a student of mba executive to make a speech on behalf of the mba executive graduating batch very good afternoon everyone first of all i would like to congratulate all my fellow graduates for the well deserved achievement thank you honorable guests professors parents and the british college staff for celebrating our milestone with us here today a special thank you to subhajit sir for giving me this opportunity of representing the first emba batch of students two years ago 14 of us from different professional backgrounds join the british college to further enhance our careers with an executive mba degree although we were all from diverse professional backgrounds we shared one thing in common fear fear of starting a life as a student again we simply did not know what to expect and where to begin to start studying again after 5 years of working seems daunting i questioned myself over and over again about my commitment Sometimes in order to succeed one needs to move like a turtle. There are going to be many challenges in life and instead of hiding in a shell one needs to face them by sticking one's neck out. As such we overcame our fear by taking what was thrown at us one thing at a time. It was not easy but we did not give up. Of course we didn't succeed every time but at least we tried persistently and that is what matters in the end. The best part of this EMBA program would be the knowledge gained from the experiences shared within our small diverse group of entrepreneurs, engineers, human resource managers, consultants, and accountants. I wholeheartedly believe in what Julius Caesar said, experience is teacher of all things. When I look back 10 years down the road, the theory learned might not be as vivid as the learnings from the experiences shared. <coughs> Having said that, The British College really helped smooth our transition. So thank you British College for giving us the first EM, EM, EM sorry EMBA batch of students such special treatment. Be it from classes held in boardroom to early morning cups of tea to continuous reminders about the deadlines. Nevertheless, thank you all to our professors for the immense support, guidance and patience. A special thank you to Dr. Madan Mananda sir for always motiv motivating and encouraging us at times when we thought of giving up. Our perseverance and resilience did pay off in the end as we are here celebrating our achievement with you all today. I would also like to thank Prajul sir and Subhajit sir for continuously pushing us to do our best and for guiding and assisting us even in the wee hours of the morning so that we can complete our business consultancy project on time. and with excellent results last but not the least i would like to thank my husband mr aziz shrestha for always supporting encouraging advising 
and inspiring me to always strive for continuous improvement rather than perfection. I would like to conclude by restating what Bradley Whitford said. Take action. Every story you've ever connected with, every leader you've ever admired, every puny little things that you've ever accomplished is a result of taking action. You have a choice. You can either be a passive victim of circumstance or you can be the active hero of your own life. Thank you. Congratulations once again to all the graduates. Enjoy the rest of the evening and have a great weekend. Thank you, Sadiksha. Now I invite Ms. Joshua Shakya, a student of BSc Computing, to make a speech on behalf of the BSc Computing Graduating Batch. Honorable guests, graduates, and family members, greetings. I'm honored to be standing here in front of you on behalf of all the graduates to express the happiness that we all feel in our hearts today. First of all, congratulations to all the graduates. Well, we made it. There is this quote that reads, winners are not those who never fail, but those who never quit. Four years ago, most of us walked in the halls of the British College as nervous as we were at the first day of school, anxious and scared, yet curious and excited, not knowing what was coming next. Yet, through tests, team projects and deadlines, through thick and thin, through joys and challenges, we're finally here. We're all winners today. Congratulations once again. However, we graduates are not the only winners here. All of us present here deserve this celebration equally. I would like to express the most sincere and heartfelt gratitude to all our teachers for their lessons, their patience and support in and out of the classroom. I would also like to apologize for all the off our phone calls, emails, and last minute questions. Thank you for being patient with us. Thank you, Oren, sir, for remembering each of our names, for always having your doors wide open for us at all times, and for investing in each one of us being successful. I cannot express in words how much we appreciate you, not only as a teacher and a mentor, but also as a human being. I'm also thankful to each and every member of TBC, Student Service Department, IT Department, for supporting us and providing us with all that we needed. This wouldn't have been possible without you. As much as I've looked forward to this day, I've always disliked endings. Today we say goodbye to everything that's familiar, everything that's comfortable, but the bonds that we have shared here will always be there with us, no matter what. Also, here's to all the parents for their investment, their blessings, their guidance, and their support. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for always being there for me, for pushing me to be the best and expect the best, and for painting my walls blue when I forgot to see the sky. These four years have been an incredible journey for me. I'm a totally different person than I was when I came in as a freshman four years ago. And I bet that all of us have transformed and changed for the better. My time at TBC has challenged me uh, challenged me to a great extent, taught me to strive continuously and passionately pursue my dreams. In addition, it has also taught me to be gentle with myself, to trust the process, and to go with the flow. Standing here in front of you is a perfect example of, of how TBC, TBC has helped me overcome my limitations because I'm an extremely introverted person, and speaking in front of all of you is something I could have never imagined myself doing. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity. When I look at it now, the past four years seem like a continuous process of breaking barriers like these. These four years have also taught me to focus on the questions that are really important. How can we serve the world? What is needed in the world that our talents can provide? Few years from now, I'm sure some of us will be working in tech titans like Google and Facebook. Some of us will be developing the next big app for Nepal. Some of us might even be on the Forbes list or win a Nobel Prize, who knows? And I hope that our achievements will serve as an answer and make TBC proud. Where to from here? I'm pretty sure we all will be hearing this question again and again for the next few months. If you ask this question right now, 
I'm pretty certain that the answers will be as diverse as the students who make up this year's graduating class. Some of us know exactly what we want to do next. It might be an internship, a full-time job, a broad study, or even a backpacking trip to Annapurna base camp. Others will tell you they have no idea. Whatever our decisions might be, we all will agree that TBC has been a blessing for us in finding our direction and our higher purpose during this crucial learning phase. For those of us who know, and for those of us who are confused like me, I'd like to say, embrace the uncertainty, prepare yourself, open yourself up to opportunities, and let the universe guide you. I'd like to end with a quote by Louise Hay. She says, as I say yes to life, life says yes to me. Good luck to all the graduates. Thank you. I now invite Ms. Leslie Earle to come forward onto the stage to present the posthumous award to Nikhil Shrestha, who is the brother of Mr. Gaurav Shrestha, a student of BSc Computing who passed away last year. It is a great sadness that Mr. Gaurav Shrestha cannot be with us today, and we send our sincere condolences to his family. Thank you. Our thoughts are with you on this day. I now invite Mr. Michael Rutland, OBE, advisor to the British College, to deliver the final address. Mr. Rutland, OBE, read physics and mathematics at King's College London University, and then served for five years as an officer in the British Royal Air Force. In 1965, he became a teacher of physics in the UK. And in 1971, he was invited to Bhutan to tutor the Crown Prince, later the fourth king. He then returned to the United Kingdom and became involved in the development of science education at a national level. He worked for five years as an officer in the armed forces for the Sultan of Oman in Muscat. He was appointed as an officer of the Order of the British Empire, OBE, by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. And in 2014, he became the first honorary council of the United Kingdom to Bhutan. Rajan Kandel, fellow advisors, graduates, parents, honored guests, it's a great pleasure to be here again one year later, like the season of summer, it's always nice to visit Kathmandu and to see the British College being so successful. Uh, let me reassure the young lady who just spoke a moment ago, Miss Joshua Shakia. You said that you did not like endings. This is not an ending. Today is a beginning, and it's a beginning of a very exciting life. Because you are going to grow up during a time of immense change. It's symbolized by that drone thing that was hovering up there. And if you sat there, it looked as though it was going to attack you at any moment. That's a symbol of the sort of changes that you're going to see in your lives. Changes in technology, unbelievable changes. Artificial intelligence, economic changes as the center of the world's economy moves from the west to the east. And here you are, situated between what will be two of the greatest economic powers in the world, China and India. What an opportunity for you what changes you're going to see. But let's just for a moment ask, what do we mean 
by changes. Yesterday I visited Swayambhunat Temple, if I've got my pronunciation wrong, never mind. I have lived in Bhutan since 1971 and I know excellent Dzongka, but the trouble is I only have ten words. Nepali, I only have one, which I think is namaste. However, let's ask what does change mean. I visited Swayambhunath Temple. I stood up there on the hill, and on the way up, somebody had given me a photograph of Swayambhunath in 1970. It stood in the middle of jungle. It stood in the middle of green forests. And as I looked out yesterday... I did not see any green forests. I simply saw a mass, a mass of buildings. And somebody said to me, my goodness, hasn't it changed? But I'd like to ask, is that that I saw real change? Are the physical buildings that we see growing up in Kathmandu and in Nepal are the material changes that we see all over the world, the drone, the latest aeroplane, are they real changes? I'd like you to think that perhaps the real changes, the sort of changes that I hope the British College brings about in your minds, are not physical changes apart from, who was it, Ahuan Shestra, wherever he is, who apparently lost nine kilograms of weight. I don't think the job of the British Council is to help you lose weight. <laughs> it's not the job of the British College to uh, change your shape, in spite of the fact that you're all wearing funny hats, which I'm not sure if you'll wear when you're outside in the uh, restaurant with your friend. Uh, the job of the British, co of British College is to bring about more fundamental changes. It's to bring about changes in the head and in the heart. And it's changes in the head and in the heart that are invisible. The real changes, the changes that are important, the changes that will make a difference to your life are invisible. And I want you to think carefully as you go through life about the changes in your head and in your heart. Not just how many kilograms you weigh today. <laughs> it's going to be such a challenging world for you. You've been very well equipped by all the studies that you've done. You have been warriors in the true tradition of Nepal, battling against all sorts of temptations, to pass your bachelor's degrees and your master's degrees. You have been warriors. But the real heroes in this room are not you. The real heroes are your parents at the back of the room. You studied and battled for two years or three years to get your degrees. They studied and battled for 20 years and 23 years to look after you, to give birth to you, to protect you, to get you to the stage where you can be sitting here today wearing funny hats. <laughs> you owe such a debt of gratitude to your parents and I was delighted that you have acknowledged your parents in some of the words we've heard today. Never forget them. One of the great strengths that you have here, which is tending to disappear in the West, is the family connection. The family is your safe harbor in time of storm. Never forget your family, your older family, and also the families that you will have, the little children, look after them. But apart from you being warriors, and apart from your parents and relatives being heroes, there is another man in the room I would finally like to mention, 
And I don't know whether to call him a warrior or a hero or what, but he is determined. And I refer to Rajan Kandel, the founder and the father of the British College, without whom, without whose efforts, none of you would be sitting here today. So finally, Mr. Kandel, may I congratulate you on your own perseverance, your own initiative, and on the success of the British College. Good luck to you all. Thank you. I now invite Mr. Rajan Kandel to award the tokens of appreciation to our honorable guests. Firstly, I would like to invite Mr. Paul Cleves, MBE, to come forward. Now I invite Dr. Chiran Thapa, advisor to the British College, to come forward. I invite Miss Donna Whitehead from the University of the West of England. Finally, I invite Ms. Leslie Earle from Leeds Beckett University. There is one more token of appreciation for Michael Rutland. <laughs> How could I forget? Thank you so much. Now there will be a group photo session for the graduates from each course, for which the following groups will be invited onto the stage. The first group will be M MBA executive and MSC IBM. The second group will be the BBA graduates. The third group will be made up of half of the BSc computing graduates. The fourth group will be the other half of the BSc computing graduates. And lastly, there will be a British College staff photo. So please remain seated and wait to be called upon stage by the ushers. <laughs> 